What is up my loves? Welcome back to another video. First of all, happy new year to all of you guys. I hope you guys are having a great new year so far and I wanted to welcome my new subscribers. Hello you guys. If you don't know, my name is Vika. Vika Love is my stage name. Um, thank you guys for getting me to 490 subscribers so far as of today, which is January 14th. Um, so we're just only 10 away from 500, which I'm definitely excited about. Um, I know I could be more consistent and I'm getting to that as of why I wasn't. So I think the last time I uploaded was in October. Um, and like from there, like y'all know I'm in nursing school, so I was mad busy and I feel like I wasn't really managing my time as well as I should have been. So that's part of the issue as well. And then I know I was trying to upload a video, I think in November that I recorded, but then my laptop had like no space and then i tried deleting stuff and then um what was it final cut pro started having some type of issue and it was like oh my gosh i can't win <laughs> and i just like had no time to try to figure it out so that's why i'm uploading a video like three months later so hi guys <laughs> anywho so basically this video is just gonna be like a life update where i've been uh what's been going on with school um work just life in general so Let's get started. So last semester I took, um, it was my OBP's rotation semester. So um, OBMP's, it was, it was, it was interesting. Let's just say that it was, last semester was just interesting. It was like busy for sure. They just kept throwing work at us. And it was just, but yeah, it wasn't even that the work was hard. It was just that it was just so much being thrown at us, which made it a lot and it made it stressful. And it was like, I felt like I couldn't really manage my time properly. Um, but yeah, so my P's rotation, um, I honestly felt like it could have been better. Like I thank God that I actually work at a pediatric hospital. Um, so I could kind of see certain things because my pediatric rotation clinical for school was just like, no like i barely saw anything like it was only because of like the whole covid thing they had us only do three days at the clinical site which is crazy because like by the time you get comfortable at the site is when you're basically leaving and the first day i think yeah the first day i couldn't attend because i feel like it was something with the military and had like obligations or something like that and the next two times was like one of them like the nurse i was paired with she only had one patient and the patient was asleep basically the majority of the time i was there for clinical so i basically saw nothing and then the second time um i saw like i guess a little something um it was like two different patients but it just it wasn't enough you know like the fact that i work at a pediatric hospital and i'm like on the message med surge floor um, I was able to see like the different stuff that I was learning about in class. So like, for example, when we were talking about Kawasaki disease, um, I actually had a patient of mine who had Kawasaki disease. So it's like, oh my gosh, I could like um, put the two together, you know? So like, I'm like, oh, okay, like my patient had this disease and this is what the characteristics were. And my patient had that and this, that, and the third. So it was like, you could put the two together and like, it could just mesh. Is that the word I'm looking for? I think that's the word. Y'all get it though. Y'all get it. But yeah, so um, my pediatric clinical, like I said, it could have been better. It could have been a lot better, actually. If they placed me at the hospital that I work at, yo, A1. A1. It would have been great. But they didn't, but it's okay. Um, and then I also had community clinical, and that was cool. I actually had um, clinical at a daycare, which was great. So that I kind of added on to the pediatric side um i was like in the classroom with like kids that were two to like four years old and it was like cool um it felt i guess i don't know it felt normal because i used to work well let me say this majority of my past jobs have been with kids so i'm always working with kids um but it felt like this job that i had where i was like working at like a elementary slash middle school um more so the elementary school it was just I guess what was being learned was different. Um, with this, with community, clinical, we were just like helping, we were kind of like a teacher's aide almost. 
and then from time to time we teach the kids oh how to brush your teeth properly um fire safety um and like stuff like that and then i also had missed a couple of days of that clinical so i had to make it up um and we they had us do like this volunteer work for a cerebral palsy walk slash run that was like pretty cool it was a good experience for sure um so overall for the community clinical i would say it was eh. so overall for the community clinical i would say it was a good experience um yeah and if i'm talking fast can you guys let me know in the comments below so i could try to slow it down because if y'all don't know i'm from new york and we talk fast so i'm sorry <laughs> but I'll, I'll try to work on it if that is a problem um next up we have my ob clinical and let me tell you oh my gosh oh my gosh ob has my heart <laughs> i had it at um i was about to say the hospital i don't want to really say the hospital but i had it at a hospital that's not too far from me um and let me tell you the experience was great the professor was great she we stayed like our whole clinical time but like she made the experience i guess you could say like she wanted us to learn she wanted us to see things and let me tell you we saw everything like i was able to see like three circumcisions and that was really interesting like i know now like if i have a boy in the future that i want them to do a certain type of circumcision versus another one so because yeah no and i need like a specific doctor like if i were to give birth at the hospital i was at for clinical I want that doctor that did the first circumcision I saw because the others, eh, eh, you know. But anywho, so yeah, I saw three circumcisions. I saw um, a natural birth, a C-section. Um, and the births, let me tell you, they were definitely interesting. Um, I got emotional with the natural birth um, over the C-section. Like the natural birth was just, I don't know, it was like, when she was pushing it and then the baby was like almost out you saw the head crowning and then once it came out and the baby was crying and they put on the mom it was just like so emotional and i was just like oh my gosh like my heart was happy you know like it was like oh yo this is like i know like that spectrum no what's the word i'm looking for that area is like an area i know that i really want to go into and i've known that since I don't know if you could hear that but it's like the wind outside um of the house so i don't know if y'all heard that but yeah that's why i made that face but yeah so like ob is something i've always known i wanted to go into so with this clinical i could definitely confirm that yes that is an area that i want to and will be going into so yeah um but yeah so and then with the c-section that i saw it was definitely interesting i was smack dab in the middle watching everything um and like they always say like oh there's a smell and like people and people um pass out from it and they tell you to like eat and like oh if you're gonna pass out let them know like i feel like i don't know i feel like there wasn't there was a smell but it wasn't like oh my gosh i'm about to pass out or throw up from this you know like it just kind of smelled like something was burning basically and they do kind of like burn the skin like when they cut it and it just i don't know it was definitely interesting though watching that um seeing them pull out the baby start cleaning um him or her and then pull out the uterus because they kind of like flip the uterus over onto like i guess the belly or the chest area you know to like get out the um placenta so that was definitely interesting and something that like i guess was took me by surprise almost um but yeah c-section or natural birth i would pick um a natural birth um and a natural birth is definitely more emotional um what else did i see i saw like a car seat challenge i saw um a baby get um his hearing done um i did newborn assessments and i did postpartum assessments as well and then just helping out um, the nurse um, when they were doing their rounds to the different patients doing nursing education um, adding in certain things the nurse might have forgotten um, so it was cool to see how much I actually knew and I feel like that topic like I said because I'm interested it stuck with me more um, so yeah 
so overall my OB experience was definitely great um, but now let's get into I guess the lecture classes um, I basically passed all of them except OB which is which is crazy right because let me tell you all right so this is what happened with OB so the first quiz slash exam and the first homework I technically failed right and then all of the other ones after that I was getting 80s and 90s right so I was doing all right and then the final let me tell you the final guys she gave us a review but then when the test came it was like I I knew nothing and what did I get I feel like I got like I got what a 45 or something on the final and I wasn't even upset because that 45 basically had me fail the class, right? And I was surprised because I was so calm. I'm like, wow, I failed the class. I guess I'm off the program. I'm like, and I was just so at ease with it too. Um, but let me tell you, because, you know, there was always a blessing in disguise. So basically, come to find out, the whole class failed the final. Like, literally the whole entire class. And we were writing the professor um, emails left and right saying, like, we failed. This was nothing like the review. <laughs> um, like, and then talking amongst, like, ourselves, like, um, the classmates. Um, we were saying how, like, yo, that test was crazy. That was some bullshit. <laughs> you know? Because it really was. Like, I don't know what that was. And, yo, my test was, what, December 22nd? And then that day, I was also sick. Like, I had a fever. I had a fever of like 100.4, I think it was, when I was taking the test. And it was just like, I'm sitting like this in front of my computer. And then like, just, I'm reading it, but like, nothing came through. So I feel like that played a part in why I failed as well. Besides the fact that what was on the test was crazy. Um, but yeah, so everyone was emailing her. And then she eventually emails out to like the whole class that um, she will, she got our emails. And she will be reviewing the test. And... She's not going to curve the exam, but she's gonna like give points to um, give points for like questions that majority of the class got wrong and stuff like that. So once she finishes doing that, basically I still failed the exam, but like I fell closer to the passing mark, I guess you could say. Um, and honestly, I didn't care about the fact that I failed. All I cared about was really that her changing the grade made me pass the class, and it did. So I'm definitely happy about that. So instead of failing, I got a B minus. So basically I had ended up getting two B minuses and two A's and one A plus. So long story short, I passed the first half of my senior year. Yay! But yeah, so that was everything that was going on with school. Like I said, it was very hectic. It was very stressful. Um, but I made it through by God's grace. I made it through because I was definitely stressed and I was crying. I was frustrated and I was stressed, but I made it through. All right. So the next update is I got my first apartment. <laughs> um, if y'all have been watching me for a while, y'all know that's been on my vision board for years now to get like my own place. And 2021 I finally got it like I was finally able to check that off of my vision board and off of my list of goals was to get an apartment so I finally got it I moved in in I moved in November 1st and I do have a video of that as well so that will be getting uploaded soon um I'm gonna get into all of that but I'll be getting uploaded soon so um living in my own place has definitely it's new for sure um i feel like i got used to it fairly quickly um i don't know i feel like i don't know the only word to really describe it is that it's just new um yeah i feel like i'll, I'll talk more about it in like its own video or like maybe the apartment tour um i would definitely talk more about it at that time all right so next up we're gonna talk about work so you guys probably don't know because i don't even think i made a video on this for yeah, I haven't made a video on this, but I have the video just sitting in my laptop and I'm going to get it to you guys. Trust me. Like I said, a lot's been going on, but I got a job at um, one of the number one children's hospitals in New York, um, which I was definitely very, very excited about. Like I literally, I think I shed a tear. I think I shed a tear. <laughs> but yeah, so 
I got a job there on the med surge floor as a nursing attendant and I had started that back in like late July early August um, time right um, so I've been like basically working that through nursing school and let me tell you so I had applied for a part-time position right as a nursing assistant in that hospital and I guess the manager really liked me so she was basically saying she'll create a per diem position for me because she felt like that would work better with me still being in school and that was definitely a blessing in disguise because like I, how I said the um, school year was hectic that per diem worked out in my favor <laughs> so I'm definitely grateful to her for that for sure um so that's that new job like i said the video will be getting put out soon i promise you guys it will be getting put out soon so yeah i started that job like i said back in august but i did just recently have a job interview at the same hospital um for the NICU department and i had that interview january 3rd um it was it wasn't for a nursing position yet but it was for the um their infant care technician position so it was basically i guess it's, it's kind of like a nursing attendant position in that in that but you're also doing like feedings for the babies and monitoring um like cardiac and oxygen monitors and stuff like that so with the interview like when it came to questions i feel like it wasn't really many questions being asked like toward to me like she was i feel like she probably asked me like what two to three questions and it was just um basically for me to tell her about myself um and i think she asked me like what floor do i work on now and she was asking if i wanted to like go because she knows i was like a nurse i'm a nursing student and she was asking if neonatology is like an area that i'm interested in and i said yes and then from there, it was just me asking them questions about the position, um, about the environment on the floor, about shadow experience, um, shadow, not experiences, um, opportunities, um, stuff like that. And basically by the end of the interview, she was just saying like how out of all the people she was interviewed, like I have like, was it, what's it called? Seniority, whatever it's, whatever it's called. Is that the word? I have something. And like she was saying how the position is like basically mine if I want it. So I was like, wow, well, thank you. Like, I really appreciate it. Um, and I was saying, I was, like, I'm definitely interested in the position and I'll definitely let the um, recruiter know um, my decision, if I take it or not. But, and then after that, at the end of the interview, she basically gave me a tour of like the NICU and it's actually pretty big. It's like, I felt like I kept just going through different doors, um, but I'm definitely excited. I'm supposed to start orientation for that, like, at the very end of the month so and then at the end of the month i also do start school like a couple days before my orientation so i'm trying to figure out how that's gonna work out together but yeah i'm definitely i'm very excited about that guys so all right so that's pretty much everything i wanted to update you guys on um with what's been going on with me with life with school with work etc um so basically i guess what to look what you're gonna see next on my channel is basically a lot of videos that have been pre-recorded already that i just like i said i haven't had the time to really edit them and get them out or the whole storage issue to get them out to you guys so um i still have like what two more dubai videos to get out i know i know don't come for me do not come for me it's been almost a whole year i got like what three parts of it out already and i have like one more part i think of the vlog like two more days two more days of me being in dubai but i might just make that into one like longer video and then um there's another video of us like explaining like if you want to go for yourself what to look um what to look into um do your research it we're basically talking about dubai and like if you're interested in a trip there and how to go about it how to you know get the most for your money you know so so with dubai like i said there's two more videos for that um i have a couple of military videos that i did record for you guys as well and then i have videos basically on like um being a pediatric nursing assistant me getting the job there orientation my first like night shift and stuff like that um 
and yeah we have i have a lot coming for you guys like i said these were recorded already um but they're they're like good quality videos so it's like i don't want to just get rid of it just because it's quote unquote old um i feel like it's informative and it's i feel like it would benefit you guys and whoever want whoever sees it basically so that's pretty much it <laughs> um i feel like i rambled a lot through this video which i do all the time but that's me so yeah all right you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys like comment and subscribe if you are not subscribed please share my videos and help get me to 500 and then a thousand and then we'll see where we go from there all right you guys hope you guys have a good rest of your day and bye Be the, be the love